Hi, my name is Patrick Desjordans. In this video, you will learn about creating a TypeScript project which consists of understanding a single file, the tsconfig.json file. TypeScript must transpile the TypeScript's language to JavaScript language. The file that we will discuss contains the parameters applying during the process of transforming the TypeScript's code into JavaScript code. When executing the transpilation phase by default, TypeScript looks for configuration for the projects by reading a file name, tsconfig.json. TypeScript looks in the directory where you execute the transpilation. Also, when you are developing in VS Code, the code editor uses the tsconfig.json at the root of your project to provide the proper interaction when designing code. Before going any further, it is possible to specify a configuration for a specific situation. For example, if you need a special configuration when you deploy in production, you can have tsconfig.prod.json. And when compiling, use tsc-p tsconfig.prod.json. The argument dash p lets you specify a configuration file name. TSC is a TypeScript compiler tool packaged with TypeScript. Without dash p, the tsconfig.json is taken if exists. When you start a project, I always suggest leveraging the initialize command of the transpiler, tsc dash init. The command produces a set of default configuration with all possible options and description in comments. I will not review all the configuration on that video, but will point out the ones that are the most useful to get started. The target option is probably one that you want to configure at the beginning of a new project, and then once every two years. The target option indicates in what format the ECMAScript to transform the TypeScript code. ES5 and ES6 are fine for modern applications to build in 2020. Older versions like ES3 are good if you need to support an older browser. The versioning of ECMAScript has changed from a sequential number to a year format, so be careful. The second option is the module. You need to set to CommonJS if you are building a Node.js application and ES6 for the web. In short, the way files are related to each other is with import and export. There are many standards that work depending on where the files are located. Files on a browser needs to be grouped and sent on the internet, while when local, we can resolve files locally on the hard drive. A third option to enhance debugging is debugging directly in TypeScript instead of the generated JavaScript. The options source map tells TypeScript to create a map file that can be that can read with VS Code or Chrome. The mapping translates every JavaScript line to TypeScript lines of code. A fourth option that is always needed is the out there. The output directory tells TypeScript to place the generated JavaScript file, the .js, the transpile ts file. When transpiling, TypeScript creates a single JavaScript for each TypeScript document. Without that option, all JavaScript files are generated next to their own TypeScript file. The problem with having both together is in terms of tidiness, and that later, when publishing, more configuration will be needed to extract the GS instead of targeting a single output folder. The fifth option contains several parameters. The strict option turn on many strict options. No use locals and no implicit returns should be always true once you get some experience with TypeScript. Being strict enforces better practices like ensuring that you check some conditions before invoking potential code that can throw an exception at runtime, impacting users of the system developed. I'll relate during the course to several of these options to illustrate some concepts that cause issue without them turn on. However, when starting with TypeScript with previous JavaScript experience, being too strict might decourage some people. Also, if you are using TypeScript in an existing JavaScript project, 
When having TypeScript strict, it might find too many errors. So it is fine to get started with strict to false, then turning a few options on. TypeScript's configuration might look simple, but it appears to be harder in many scenarios in reality. Nonetheless, you start with what we discussed and should be good to go. So here we are again. We are at a fork where you need to make a decision. Are you going to go left or are you going to go right? Remember that any path is a good path since it is your path. Would you like to know how to debug with VS Code or with Chrome? with the TypeScripts, or you would like to know more about the TypeScripts playground. Regardless of your choice, it was the right one, because it was your choice. See you soon.